My, na my name is Pau, and I'm I'm working here one month uh, making coach coaching his uh, the players. My name is Miki, and one month in uh, staying in Aranco in Arabia. I I thought that it, it was so different and I I come here and it's it's uh, very nice I think but I only know Aramco Saudi Aramco in Arabia I think it that is only only desert only only sun no yes on hot and nothing but it's a, a nice a nice site yes a nice place and children is a more dif more different uh, uh, children Spanish, yes. In Spanish, uh, the children don't only play PlayStation, only play games, and I think that in Arabia is a different culture, and and the children go to go to the, the street, go to with your friends, and it's different. My name is Bill Magalos and I've been teaching some workshops here in Al Khobar and I've been here for almost three My weeks. My name is Diana Reichenbach. I'm a professor in animation and I have come to Saudi Arabia um, to teach or to help train teachers to teach animation workshops for the next four well, weeks. Well, I've always liked Arab countries. So I've always liked the Arab people, so I was looking forward to this trip. I wanted to come I very much. I hear the word Saudi Arabia. Uh, first and foremost, I think of something very foreign. Um, Saudi Arabia is in the Middle East, and it's a place that I've actually never been before. Um, another thing that comes to mind is uh, basically that it's a place that I didn't know that much about uh, before coming and researching it. I have it. to say, that I think the, the, the female children whom I've met seem to be a little bit more serious than the male children. That's one thing I've noticed. The male children, they're serious, but not as, they're not, they don't pay as much attention as, as the girls do. When I first arrived in Saudi Arabia, I was uh, thinking that women wore the abaya uh, more to kind of hide themselves from men. But I feel that as I'm here and I'm asking you know, women about the abaya that uh, it it has deeper roots in terms of you know modesty, and it does have to do uh, some with um, religion. I think women in Saudi Arabia wear the abaya because they are modest. I think they want they don't want to show off very much, and they don't they don't want to cause trouble because they're beautiful and they're so beautiful that if the men saw them in their full beauty there would be car accidents. It's a little bit challenging for me as a foreigner to completely understand uh, because I'm raised in a totally different context but I'm beginning to understand much more um, you know what what the abaya. My name is Nora Donahue. I have been in Saudi Arabia for three Very weeks. excited to be here um, teaching in Saudi Arabia because I think it's really important to show the younger generation here um, how to tell their stories and how to make films because this way they can portray their stories to themselves and to the rest of the I world. I love my students. The girls are very smart and um, they participate a lot and they're very enthusiastic. So I'm very happy to have met the students. You're welcome, thank you.